The Senate candidate who won the most support from his party to take on Chuck Schumer in November. Former CIA operative, Air Force vet, and author Gary Bernstein joins me now live. Gary? Pleasure. Congratulations. Actually, it was 62% in two ballots, if I'm not mistaken. 62 on the second ballot. So that makes you uh, the official designee. What does that mean? Aside from bragging rights, what do you get for that? Well, I'm, as the designee, I'm the person that the party has chosen as their top vote getter. Mr. Townsend, of course, is, you know, he's welcome to primary, but I have wider support across the state. I'll have support of, uh, you know, Republicans, independents, the Tea Party movement. Uh, which is probably larger and deeper here than most people think. Well, yeah, they came. You had a, quite a cheering section here, actually. Yes. There were very many cheering people, and more so than any other candidate here, actually. And we actually just heard in, um, in Bobby's package that you said that this was going to be an interesting uh, contest. And what did you mean by that? Certainly you spoke a lot in your speech about immigration. Well, that's just one of the issues. When I talk about immigration, I'm talking about the border. And the, and the problem with the border is it's not just illegal immigrants that are coming across there. It's the fact that we have seven different cartels down there, narco-trafficking cartels. Mm -hmm. The Beltran cartel, Ariana Felix, Los Zetas, Sonola cartel. You have billion-dollar enterprises down there that are dedicated to putting people in the United States to sell drugs. Had over 300 kidnappings in Phoenix this year. That's the same number actually that took place in Kabul this year. Um, you know, Phoenix has the distinction of having the same number of, uh, of, you know, this is a pretty bad situation that we have along the border. So I don't blame the government at all, actually. I support those steps that she's taken there. We need to secure the border okay. first. But during your, during your speech, you actually voiced support for this controversial law in Arizona that the, gov that the governor has passed. Um, in fact, uh, Chuck Schumer ha wrote a letter to the governor asking for that law to be um, held off from the enactment, and the governor didn't didn't uh, follow his advice obviously but you know it's it's this he is a democratic concern. well this is a democratic state hold on in in, in order you know you're very popular here obviously and you had a lot of supporters from the tea party movement the and the republicans not the conservative line but we'll get to that in a second how do you expect to win in a state where so many democrats chuck schumer on down have voice control of against immigration and in new york city in particular is a city full of immigrants what we have to do here is recognize that America is the most generous country in the world. We allow 1.2 million per year to immigrate legally. Mm -hmm. And I have no problem adding to that number legally that come under the numerical system that's set up by immigration. We're not going to go ahead and give amnesty to 20 million people at one time, 15 or 20 million people. There are millions of people outside of the United States whose family members in America file petitions for them that are waiting to get in. Some of them have waited 15 and 20 years. It's not fair. To, to, to push them back further. It's just not fair. You said he's unconcerned. Chuck Schumer's unconcerned. What do you mean by that? Well, look, S Senator Schumer uh, uh, was, was, you know, of course, took a back seat and let the President of the United States and, and uh, uh, the Attorney General announce that they were going to try College Sheikh Mohammed and, and others in Manhattan. And, and if, if, if someone thinks that they didn't run that by the senator before they announced that publicly, then I could, I could sell them the Brooklyn Bridge. But didn't everyone come out against it eventually? Eventually the they did. In New York eventually, came out against but, it. Look, uh, eventually they did. But, but the point is, is we just lost terror funds in New York as well. And again, I would have thought that they would, have been, they would be running these things past their man. Chuck Schumer in New York. Okay. He, another thing that was interesting about your speech is that you and actually Jay Townsend, your, your primary opponent, both mentioned this incident that the senior senator had on a plane where he refused to hang up his cell phone and he used what you said was the B word um, in referring to a stewardess. And then you said subsequently that you, you thought the A word was more appropriate. For him. For him. For him. And Correct. it's arrogant. Look, hardworking men and women here deserve respect in New York and everywhere in America. No one's better than anybody else here. That, that stewardess could have been your mom or your sister or your daughter. Everybody deserves respect. And if, if he can't just do that basic thing here, he doesn't deserve to be our senator. I'll treat everybody with respect. Okay, that might actually, that might resonate if more people knew about it. But you have, you're, you're new to the race. You used to be running for Congress in uh, the first congressional district. Right. Um, and then I'm not sure, what's your fundraising look like right now? Well, we're going to be raising money across the country. I can raise money across the country. I was in Texas doing a fundraiser last week down in Dallas. Hmm. Um, so, you know, I'm a best-selling author. I'm known nationally. I'm on Fox Television and CNN all the time doing counterterrorism and national security report, you know, commentary. Will you continue that now? As no, a I won't Will continue that now, but I am well known across this country. I can raise money across the country, and especially when I'm running against Chuck Schumer. Oh, how much will it take, do you think? 
it's, we're, we're not going to have $21 million that he has. <laughs> he does have quite he, a lot. He has a lot of money, but if he spends his money the way he spends, if he spends his campaign money the way he spends our tax dollars, this might not be as difficult as people You know, think. the last time he ran for re-election, actually, there, there was, he got a landslide, I mean, 70 and percent of the vote, if I'm not mistaken, against a little-known uh, Republican opponent named right. uh, Assemblyman Mills, right. and former Assemblyman Mills. A lot of people thought that Mills was a sacrificial lamb. What do you say? I put my way into this. I wanted this. When I, when, in, in 2001, after the World Trade Tower attacks, we were going to go into Afghanistan. Everyone told me, well, Alexander the Great had a bad time there, the British had a bad time there, the Russians couldn't do it. What makes you think you can do it? Okay. We ran them off in seven weeks. I and 110 CIA officers and 350 special forces defeated a force of 60 to 70,000 members of the Taliban. I'm a professional insurgent by practice. Okay, I get that, but it's a little bit different to fight a war with guns. You can't, you can't do that Let me in say this. this. I'm a resourceful man. I have a degree in political science. I'm a former station chief of the CIA, three different parts of the world. I speak multiple languages. All I can say is, watch what happens. But you don't have the conservative line. Jay Townsend has the conservative line. How much of a problem will that be? Will you petition on in some sort of Tea Party line? Um, there may be a Tea Party line, and if there's a Tea Party line, I'm sure I'll be on it. Um, I'm not that concerned. The conservative party is a very, very small slice here of the vote, and I suspect if there is a Tea Party line, it will garner three or four times the number of votes the conservatives get. Your support, clearly, a lot of it came from Long Island. A lot in Suffolk County. A lot County. of it up, uh, Syracuse up in New York, up in the north. Did You used to be running on Long Island for Congress. I thought about right. I entered the race there, CD1, and I decided against running in that race because I thought my time would be better spent fighting the most difficult target in the state of New York. Ed Cox's son is also running in that race. Correct. Did Ed Cox ask you to change no. races? No, and he was very sensitive about that when I went to him and said, look, I'm going to leave this race and come you know, and, 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 and fight Schumer. And he was very sensitive. He said, if you do this, this is on you. I said, look, I came to you. You know, I want to fight Schumer. And uh, he said, okay, you know, go build support. Go talk to your party chairman. And John Laval, I spoke to him and, about it. But you have to understand, when I was screening, and when I screened with the Tea Party, when I screened with the conservatives, and when I screened with the Republicans, every one of those groups, when I met with them, encouraged me to run for the Senate. From the very beginning, they encouraged me to run for the Senate. They said, you should be running for the Senate because you're a national figure. You've done a lot of things, and we'd like to see you against Senator Schumer. Well, we, I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more from you, Gary Burson. Thank, you very, Thank you very much for coming. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations on your victory this Thank evening. You.